In this video, we're going to demonstrate the steps required to load AxioLine E IP67IO and the FL Switch 7000 into Rockwell's RS Logix 5000 software. The first step is to download the EDS files from the associated devices. These files can be found on the individual product pages. For the FL Switch 7000, the EDS file is found under the Download tab in the Software field. The file should be downloaded and extracted into a centralized folder on your desktop. For Axioline, the EDS files are also located under the Download tab, but the files will be located in the Device Description field. Once you download the zip files, extract them to a single folder. Now we can move on to the RS Logix 5000 programming environment. Once the software is open, your first step should be to register the downloaded EDS files. To do this, launch the EDS hardware installation tool in the Tools menu. This tool works like a wizard and walks you through the appropriate steps. To start, click the Next button. Next, select the radio button to register an EDS file. Now, select the Register a Directory of EDS Files radio button and browse for the folder containing the downloaded EDS. Next, the wizard will perform a pretest to verify that the EDS files are not corrupt. Now, review the icons that will be associated to these files and a summary of the devices that will be registered. We are now ready to add these devices into your RS Logix project. The first step is to right-click on the Ethernet port icon and select New Module. Uncheck the filter on all vendor types and select only Phoenix Contact from the list. From the list, highlight the FL Switch 7008 EIP and select the Create button. In the New Module window, you'll need to enter a name for the switch and its IP address. Click OK when finished. These steps can now be repeated for the AxioLine I.O. module. Once all your devices are configured, you'll see them represented in the controller organizer. The I.O. data points are available in controller tags.